We recommend this product be installed by a competent gunsmith. Modification of your firearm may nullify the warranty of the firearms manufacturer. No liability is expressed or implied for damage or injury which may occur from improper use or installation of this product. You are responsible for the safe handling legalities and use of your firearm. Warning, always wear safety glasses when working on firearms. Hi guys, today I have a super simple install for you. Today we're gonna to install the extended mag release for the FN 509 pistols. Tools needed for this installation are a flat blade screwdriver with a relatively long shaft on it, and you'll see why in a minute, a 3 32 inch pin punch, and a 1 16th Allen wrench. The Allen wrench won't be used as an actual twisting tool, it's only gonna be used as the end to hook and pull the spring out. So anything of similar shape is fine, I just use an Allen wrench because most of us have them on hand. So what I wanna point out is this little piece of wire right here below my screwdriver blade. Look at how it's twisted up toward the blade on that, right, on that left side of the screen there. What that is, is that's the end of the spring that holds the mag release in place. We need to press that down to make sure we get the spring out easily. So we're gonna walk through that in a second, but I wanted to show what we're looking for. So that little guy right there, we're gonna press it in from the bottom of the frame so we can get the mag release spring out and replace the mag release. We're gonna follow the factory recommendation for field stripping the gun, and this is the condition we need the frame in to remove the magazine release. So take the slide and, slide and barrel off, set that aside, and from here, we're gonna go in and we're gonna pre-position the spring for the magazine release removal. The first thing I wanna do is I wanna, I wanna show you how we have to remove the spring. This little, this double coil here, this is the spring. It looks like one of those uh, butterfly type uh, paper clips. So we need to pull this up to kind of pre-position it for, for the next step. So I'll take the end of my Allen wrench and use it kind of as a hook. Now, sometimes this will pop right out without a problem, other times it won't. I'm gonna use my Allen wrench to hook into one of the ends of the spring and just pull up on it until it stops. Don't put a lot of force, it'll just come up and stop right about where you see it there. That's the pre-position for, the for the use of the screwdriver. Now, if this comes up and pops right out, great, then you're done, you can move on to the next step. But if not, we have to use the screwdriver to detention the other side first, and we're gonna do that next. What you're looking at is you're looking down the magazine well from the bottom of the frame, and you're looking at the magazine release, which is this little guy right here little triangle shape right there in the middle. Um, you can see the spring right over here on the, on the right side of your screen, that little uh, white dot there. We're gonna put the flat of the screwdriver blade in and we're gonna get on top of that spring and we're gonna try to just to push it downward into the, into the magazine release. I'm trying to see it while I'm doing it here. But the idea is we're gonna push it in and down and kind of get it seated into the magazine release. It looks like I may have gotten it there. Uh, I'm gonna take a look up confirm that, it looks like it is in place. So we're trying to take the end of that hook and just drop it into the magazine release. From here, I should be able to flip it over and pull it out with the Allen wrench and we'll show that next. At this point, I've got my spring pulled up as high as possible and I've used the screwdriver to push it up into the magazine release. So now I'll just take my Allen wrench and I'm gonna hook the spring and I'm gonna pull it up. I only need to go as far as getting those bottom two loops on the both sides out of the mag release. Now the mag release, let's push right out of the frame and come out for me. And I can replace it with ours. I wanna go over the differences between the factory component and the Apex components and the options you have from us. The factory component is metal injection molded or MIM. You can see the letters and numbers stamped on it. This factory component happens to be an ambidextrous mag release. The Apex mag release options are unidirectional, either left-handed or right-handed for the, the, the handedness of the shooter. You'll notice the Apex components are not metal injection molded, but they are fully machined steel that's heat treated and black oxide finished. So you've got a very durable component. I wanna give a quick description of what we mean by left-handed and right-handed. So on the left-handed mag release, I want to explain that that actually sits on the right side of the frame for the left thumb to actuate. Same opposite on the right side. So the right-handed shooter would pick the one that's labeled for the right hand because the mag release would sit extended on the left side of the frame for the right thumb to actuate. I wanna go over the differences between the Apex and the factory component more in the, in the detail of what you're getting from us. The factory component, you'll notice that the ends of the mag release itself are parallel to the frame. So you have to press straight in to get to it. If you take a look at the Apex mag release, we've angled the surface backward toward the back and we've also angled the, 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 the side upward a little bit because your thumb's gonna come from above the mag release and get right in on there from the side as opposed to a straight press from the side. As we go to install the magazine release, I wanna point out that when it's installed in the gun, you should be able to read the words Apex and RH or LH when you look in the top of the magwell into the gun. So you should be able to read it when it goes in. In other words, this triangle shaped piece that holds the magazine in, it should be facing, the, the po sharp point should be down, the flat should be up. To install the mag release in the frame, it's pretty straightforward. We're gonna take it and we're gonna drop it into the frame and push it all the way across. When we get there, it might be a little tough to get through the other side, so you just want to get it aligned. Once we have it aligned, we'll turn it up on end and we'll push the spring through. 
Before we press the spring back into the mag release, I want to point out that if you look down here, you can see the letters on the Apex component, and they're readable from the back of the frame looking this way over the sear. As if you were shooting the gun, you can read the words. Make sure that's in position first, and again, make sure the little flat is up on your mag release before you press the spring in. To install the spring, I put my pin punch on top, and I press that guy straight down all the way to the bottom, and that's all it takes. It, won't, it doesn't have to click in necessarily. When it hits the bottom, it stops, and that's it. Now, all we got to do is test our mag release, and we're good. I want to give a quick visual description of exactly what we've done to our magazine release. In this case, I've got a good, strong high grip on the gun. You'll notice that the pivot point of my thumb is way up here, whereas the line for the mag release is down below. Since we always come into a magazine release from the top, I angled the surface upward so that you hit it more easily and you get a flat presented to your thumb as a poster from the outside. This is a better ergonomic improvement. We've also angled it back toward the back of the frame, again, for the same thing. So instead of having to break your grip and press in, I can hold it and press my thumb against it from this perspective. This makes more efficient magazine changes and better ergonomics across the board. Before we finish up, I want to mention we installed the right-handed model into this pistol, but the left-handed is the exact same installation process and procedure. Just make sure that when you go to install this before you push the spring in, you can read the letters when you view from the top of the frame with the slide off. Everything else is the same install process. Thank <laughs> you.